Hey. Uh, usually I begin this hey internet in melee, but just hey today, I guess. Um, back home, as you can maybe see, I cut my hair, as you saw yesterday. Um, I don't really know. I don't really know what I'm saying. But I figured I'd make a second video as to not be, like, super, super behind. I still don't really know what to talk about. Things are... thingy. I survived February, so that's... A+. plus. No more February. Um, 26 is getting increasingly close, and while I don't feel as, like, screwed up about that as I did about 25, I still don't, I still feel weird. Um, I gotta do that career assessment thing at the end of this month, which means that I should probably finish filling out all the paperwork for it. Oh, um, I took a really excellent bath last night and finished reading that book that I bought when you were here. Um, do you remember it at all? It's called, uh, what is it called? I don't know, it's a good question. Um, this one, How to Live Safely in a Science Fictional Universe, and it's real good. Um, and I realize that I could be using a tripod right now, but I'm not. Um, but it's real good, and not really quite what I expected, but very much the exact sort of thing that I like, right? Um, so I kind of, I don't know, like, I kind of expected... So you start reading and it's like, oh, time machine, da 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 and I was like, oh, okay, so I was kind of expecting just, like, fun adventures in time, time, but it was not that. It's actually less than being a work of science fiction, it's, uh, it's, it's like about life and escaping from things, and I've, yeah, I really enjoyed it, and I kind of enjoy having a non-school book to read. So maybe I will in invest in having more of those. Though I can't be trusted to pick my own books, because I will just pick depressing shit over and over and over again. I bought these new earrings yesterday. I stopped in a, like, fancy soap store on my way home from class, because it was a do-whatever-you-want, buy-whatever-you-want sort of day yesterday, and I was kind of trying to avoid buying a dress that I will probably buy anyway. Um, and so I bought some fancy soap and like bath fuzzies and these earrings. They're really cute. And they're like, they're lacquered paper that somebody folded like this and then lacquered and um, they're made by someone who lives in Oakland and they're really pretty. Aren't they really pretty? I'm excited about them. I don't know what I'm going to wear them with other than what I'm wearing right now. Hello, Lyndon. Um, <laughs> I've been thinking a lot since yesterday, I guess, about self-determination and kind of the importance of knowing that that I'm driving my own life. Um, in some ways, that's been kind of the story of the past year, year and some, right? Of like, I make decisions and then I do what it is that I decide to do. And, um, you know, I've been kind of lonely, and I've talked to you about this. It's been, it's been hard, and there's an extent to which I think, like my um, culturally ingrained whatever uh, tendency is to think if I'm lonely, then what I need is a partner, and I don't think that's true. I deleted my OkCupid okay account last night. I think what I need is to get myself through at least this first year on my own. Not on my own, on my own, because I don't really believe that anybody can exist outside of community, but, well, I mean, some people can, I certainly can't. Um, but, like, on my own, you know, and not think about that, not worry about that. It's so hard though, because they, like, you know, they, people are always like, I don't know how you do seminary without a partner, and like, if you get put in a 
Like, if you start a ministry without a partner, chances are you're not gonna find one. And that's terrifying. But also, making decisions out of that kind of pressure is not a good idea or something I want to do. And so much, so much has changed so rapidly in the past six, seven months. It's almost like I don't always know, like, who me is, but that's not real because me isn't any one person, me is whoever I'm becoming, and I'm definitely working on becoming the person that I would like to become. I don't know, this is kind of babbly, and I'll probably write something that's better about this at some point, but... I don't know. It was probably a really bad idea to take a shower yesterday morning and then cut my hair off. But I did it. And it felt really powerful. I felt like... Like I was really in control of what was happening in my life. And that's important. So yeah, these are things that I think, and earrings that I have, the hair that I have, which is really, I appreciate being able to do that again. Um, I love you. Talk to you later.